today we're going to do the final drive oil change at 600 miles on the R1200 GS Adventure as required by BMW. So here's our final drive assembly at the rear of the bike. Uh, we have our uh, 75 90 weight gear oil from Motul. It meets spec and the spec that you need to keep in mind is the uh, GL5, API GL5, which this meets in 75.90 for the weight. Uh, we also have a pump here. It's a four uh, milliliter or CL pump. Uh, you need 180 milliliters of, um, of fluid. I did the math a few times actually, even though that even though this is a four CL pump or four ML pump, um, what ended up working for me by using a uh, the measuring cup here is 30 pumps for me to get the 180 milliliters. The math doesn't quite work out, but that's what we arrived at. And a dish so we can see how much comes out of here, which should be 180. Uh, step one is going to be removing uh, these three. Um, let's say it's T30. Yep, they are T30. So let's remove those first. There's one. And they are light lock -tided. Here, um, if you look at here, they've got red, red lock tight on them. So keep that in mind when reaffixing these that they are tightened down this way. Okay, we got this guy off. Actually, the bike doesn't look that bad with that removed. I might consider keeping it removed. Although, uh, to be honest, it's for the reason why that is on there is because the um, uh, rocks and debris. You don't want people hitting, getting hit, people hitting you or hitting people from behind you. Okay, now that we've removed the guard, um, you're gonna have your two items here. Is use a T40 to remove the um, the filler plug, which needs to be done first, so gravity can drop out. Also, make sure you take the bike out for a little ride to get it up to operating temperature before you do this. And that needs to be operating temperature or just slightly below it for this to work uh, efficiently. If the bike is cold, it's not gonna work as well. And obviously, center stand is preferred because you'll have a nice even drop. If it's on a kickstand, you might have some left over over here without falling. So let's go ahead and uh, grab our T40. And put it on the socket. There we go. It's gonna be pretty hard to use both hands here. Someone mentioned you might even need your breaker bar to get this thing loose. Yeah, it's tight. Now in older models, there was a um, there was a washer in here, but I don't see that in this model. Let's see. Oh, there it is, right there. See it? Uh, it's a copper washer. Yep. So the bottom is actually a T45, and uh, have your your measuring cup ready at the bottom here. It's ready to measure that out. And the bottom has a, uh, a rubber O-ring attached. And again, for 600 miles, I'm not going to replace it. But um, at 6,000, make sure you have your O-rings for the copper washer up top and the rubber washer in the bottom. This may be hot coming out, so just be careful there. Oh, man, black gunk. That looks terrible. It doesn't look awful. <laughs> that looks really, really bad. Wow. I can never see why BMW required you to change the 600 miles. Uh, while it's fully draining, you want to take your drain plug here and use a microfiber towel and clean out some of the gunk in here. There is going to be gunk in there, so get that clean. I'm actually going to use a couple of screwdrivers here to get this stuff out. Okay, so this guy is now completely clean. There you go, you see inside, looks good. Put that at the side. Now if you look at this stuff, this gunk that we have, it is nasty. Uh, as promised though, we do have just under 200 milliliters. Just add it. So, but look at how nasty that is. Ugh, gross. Grab the uh, T45, tighten that down. All 
All right, now for the top. Um, hard to really see from there, I guess. That's a little bit better. We're going to uh, take our gear oil. And uh, this syringe, we're gonna screw right into the top here. All right, remember what I said earlier about 30 pumps? Now I did put water through this early and you don't want water in your trans in your final drive so um, you're going to start, you're going to do a couple pumps into your um, your measuring cup to clear out of the water from here and then you can pump into here. 30 pumps was the math I did earlier. And we're in. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. There we go. Put this to the side. And we are done. Now, if you're crazy like me, what I would recommend, if you're not, if you have plenty of this uh, gear oil around, uh, seal this up drop it and make sure the 180 milliliters fell in. You could do that. You could also put 180 milliliters into the measuring cup and pull from there. Uh, that'd be another surefire way to make sure you have the full spec that's in there. Uh, after you're done with that, we're gonna grab our washer here, or your, your bit, replace the washer if needed. Then grab your T40, crank this down to 20 nanometers, Newton meters, and you are complete. And that's all you have to do for the final driveway. Now, uh, bonus feature here, alternate method, <clears throat> because I have plenty of fluid, I'm going to do this twice for you guys, would be to fill your measuring cup up to 180, so holding it straight, it's about 180, um, just under 200 there, and then fill up off of here, so you're going to put your, we've got the drain, bottom drain plug affixed, we're putting our syringe into here, and we're filling up that way. So there's our entry, we've got the cup on the, the ground, bringing this up here, just like that, and then we're filling this way. And this is one way to make sure that you're doing uh, 180 for sure without any mistakes. I think both methods work just fine, but this is also a, kind of a surefire way if you don't want to count the pumps or if your pump is different than mine. Obviously the uh, the link is below if you want to buy this pump. Uh, alternatively you can fill up a syringe and do it that way. Okay, there's our 180. Take this out of here. Use our napkin to kind of clean up the bit that spilled. Putting our bolt in. Now, I don't know if final drive oil is uh, as corrosive as like brake fluid is, but um, not a bad idea to to clean all this stuff down after you're done. And using T40 to tighten things back up. All right, that is it. So bonus footage <laughs> over with, and uh, as usual, hit all this stuff and just clean up all that crap off there on the top and the bottom. Now that you're done. And then uh, once we're done with that, and this camera's balancing so perfectly on my leg, um, you're gonna take your screws back off, off and let's go into the top one first. Um, I'm gonna start by hand tightening these and then clip, finish these up myself um, once I'm off camera here. Uh, using the red, aka half lock tight for these guys. But no need to waste more footage on this, so. Uh, Thanks so much for watching, guys, and uh, I hope this was helpful. All right, have a good day.